Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to try to um, show you and explain to you symmetry. Um, so, for example, uh, this, uh, this slightly bad Batman card that I drew uses a lot of symmetry. Um, so you can see that I've just turned on the um, front plane, and basically that runs through the very center of my, my model, uh, which meant... I could draw a lot of things on one side and then get on shape to basically mirror that on the other side. So I didn't need to draw it again and I didn't need to make sure that I, I drew it exactly the same as the other side uh, because it's a basically a carbon copy of one side to the other. So um, I suppose the most important part about using symmetry is the first extrusion that you do. We can extrude on both sides of the plane. Um, so I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to draw on the front plane. I'm going to go to sketch. Um, I'm just going to look onto that. And uh, I'm going to draw the, the worst car design. Oh. Let's just let's cover that. So I've got my basic profile. And it's uh, in the middle of the front plane. So when I go to extrude, what I can do is extrude in two positions. So this little tick box here that says second end position, if I tick on that, basically it's then extrudes on both sides of the plane. So if I know that I want the overall model to be, um, you know, 60 mil then I can go 30 mil on one side and 30 mil on the other. So then it's symmetrical. Uh, and then when I go, okay, you can still see that that plane runs to the very center of my model. So basically what that means now is anything I do to one side, I can then use the front plane to mirror that on the other side. Okay, so for example, if I just draw some very basic wheels, And ideally, I would probably extrude, remove like a bit of a space for the wheels. But if I just draw them on there and extrude that just a little bit, five mil, and then OK that. So what I can do is use the mirror feature, which is this button here. You can see that it's got like two little two little models and uh, so entities to mirror is basically the wheels uh, because it's all one part if I use this little drop down menu and just change this to a feature because I just want the the wheel extrusion which is a feature so if I click on uh, featured to mirror if I just click on this wheel and then uh, in red, the mirror plane, so I need to click on that, and then I can use the front plane to mirror that. So if I rotate this around, you can see that they uh, will go on those, so I can OK that. Uh, it'll work with like a, a extrude remove, so if I sketch onto there, and and remove again just a little bit too much and then again I can use the mirror button uh, I don't want to mirror the whole part so I need to change that to feature and then this is my extrusion so I can click on that and then I need to click on this little button and then click on the front plane and again that will mirror that across on that side as well um, so yeah, really handy for getting symmetry on both sides, but probably the most important part was that first extrude. So making sure that when you draw the first extrusion, that it's, uh, it's symmetrical on both sides and it runs through one of the planes. It doesn't need to be the front plane, but some, it probably makes more sense sometimes.
Um, and then you can use, you know, the mirror tool as many times as you need to uh, for as many features as, as as you need to as well. So these are all the ones that I used it for for this. Pretty much everything on the other sides. That's it.